Yo guys, Codelife here. So in today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you all how just changing this one setting in three of these commonly used programs can literally give you a pretty significant boost in Fortnite Battle Royale. That's right guys, if you do have any of these three specific programs or even any similar ones that do the same thing, that are open and running at the same time as you are playing Fortnite, after you have watched this video and done exactly what I've done right here to each one of them, I can promise you all right now that you should get a FPS boost in some sort of way. You should get a pretty high FPS boost if you are on a low tier machine and if you are on a high end machine you should still honestly get some sort of boost even if it is a little one but who really cares at the end of the day because if you are getting an FPS boost in any sort of way guys that is a bonus no matter how you look at it. So yeah guys if this video does help you out and does help you get that FPS boost I'd appreciate it greatly if you could all one drop a like on this video and then two comment below telling everyone that it did help you out now though guys let's jump straight into this video and i'll show you all how to disable the hardware acceleration setting in these programs starting off with google chrome first so for google chrome guys you firstly want to make sure that chrome itself is open once it is open you want to go ahead and click the three dots at the top right then click settings and in the settings tab you want to head over to the left hand side where it says advanced and then inside there you'll see the hardware acceleration setting just simply click on that blue button and that will disable the setting completely next up we've got discord for discord guys it's actually a very similar process in disabling this setting as it was for chrome all you guys have to do is click on the little settings icon at the bottom left of discord then go to appearance and then in appearance you will see the hardware acceleration setting at the bottom again similar to chrome just simply click that blue button and it will disable the setting and then moving on to our final program that's spotify for spotify guys it is a little bit different because in this program specifically you need to head over to the top left click on those little free vertical dots and then click view and in that view tab you will see that the hardware acceleration box is ticked what you guys want to do is simply untick that and then boom after you have restarted spotify that will disable the hardware acceleration which that by the way is the case for most of these programs you will need to restart them all after you do change this setting for it to take full effect but yeah guys that's how you do go ahead and disable hardware acceleration for all these programs and really any program in the world every program does have sort of similar steps and you will be able to find the setting in there somewhere but yeah a few of you are probably wondering why exactly are we turning this off or rather disabling it and well the answer to that guys is to provide more resources to the game itself Itself, and that is Fortnite. The way in which we are doing this guys is because by us disabling this exact setting, that's hardware acceleration, this essentially disables these programs like Chrome, Discord and Spotify from utilizing the maximum amount of resources from our graphics cards. So now instead of these programs using the maximum amount of resources, they now use the minimum amount, which is enough just to keep them open slash running. Yes, they won't be performance slash running as smooth as they did before, like they won't have all the fancy animations and stuff like that. But this is quite a good thing because to do all of them fancy animations and to look cool, they do require Require quite a bit of resources from our GPU which really we don't want to share while having Fortnite open and running at the same time because obviously some of that GPU power will be allocated to those programs instead of our main program which is Fortnite. That's not what we want, we want all of the resources being allocated to Fortnite and Fortnite alone. So yeah, bias disabling hardware acceleration in all of those programs, it sort of disables all of that extra GPU usage that all of them programs were using to now not use as much so that that extra can go straight to Fortnite which as most of you will know that will equal more FPS for the game but yeah guys you definitely want to try this out and let me know in the comment section below if this does boost your FPS like I said it will depend on what machine you've got and what graphics card you've got mainly but I'm pretty sure no matter what machine you've got you should at the very least see some sort of increase if you do guys I'd appreciate it greatly if if you could drop a like on this video and again comment below if it does help and yeah that's all from me today guys if you do want more short fps boost videos like this one let me know in the comment section guys 
I'd love to do more like maybe a system optimization video, maybe the best Windows settings, or maybe even the best Nvidia settings or AMD settings to boost FPS. I really think those would help you guys out. So again, if you are wanting those, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you all have a great day. Peace.